Hello Year 8. Today I want to give you a video review of what you need to study for the test that we're going to take on Thursday. So first I want to point out I created a classroom for you. So under the tree, chapter 1, test on Thursday, if you open that, you will see all of these things I have for you. So what do you need to know? What specifically do you need to study? You need to study the terms of the Treaty of Versailles, the German reaction, the impact on Germany, and the could the treaties be justified on the t at the time. What you do not need to study is specifically what the big three wanted and did the victors get everything they want. So all the big three work that we've been doing, you do that will not be on this test. It very will likely be on the IGCSE test when you are in 10th grade, but at this moment you do not need to memorize those. Um, you also do not need to know anything about the other treaties. Okay, so we're only going to be testing on the, term, the Treaty of Versailles. So what I have here for you, if you see this says Google Slides, this says Google Slides, and this says Google Slides. These are the slides that I use to create my videos. Okay. Then here you see the four videos that you will need. There are s six videos in this series. Uh, this one, could the peace treaties be justified? Unfortunately, I forgot to actually give that one to you, and so this will be the first time you'll see those, but it is a very short video. If you wish do not wish to take the notes for them at this time, feel free if that takes you too long, but please watch it because it will actually help you answer the last question on the test. Okay, here is the answers to everything in the workbook. So if you have questions, you can just feel free to look at that and make sure you have all the answers correct in your workbook. Here are the notes all in one form. So here are the videos and we'll go over those in just a second. But I just, here are the notes. This is what it will look like. Again, you do not need to know the um, big three. Okay, you do not need to know if victors get everything they want. But here's where you start need to learning from. The terms. These should also all be in your notes. German reaction. This comes straight from the video. The impact of the Treaty of Versailles. Hyperinflation. Could the treaties be justified at the time? And you do not need to know these other treaties. So if you would rather look at it through the slides, they're the exact same videos as these. So it's your choice of which way you feel more comfortable looking at. Then if I go back here, I have two Quizlets that encompass everything in the entire chapter. So this one will have big three information. So you can just either ignore those and look at the uh, terms information or you can just review them anyway but just know that you're not going to be tested. And this is the information about the terms, let's see, wait, hold on, let me, this does have the terms in it. Oh, actually, I think this might just have the terms. Anyway, I will take a look at that. If you see only one in here, that just means you don't need the other, okay? So I'll take a look at that as soon as I'm done. I thought this one had the terms and this one just had the effects. So I will take a look about that. Sorry about that. Um, so I want to review really fast. So if you know what you're doing, you can go now. If you want me to just review some of the way the questions are going to be asked, that's what I'm going to talk to you about now. Um, so I will start first with these. Remember, you do not need that first video, so that's this. Remember, that second video starts with this picture. So here's our terms. Germany, remember there are five terms. The War Bill Clause, Disarmament, Reparations, loss of territory, and the League of Nations. So you will be asked to name four terms and explain them. So for example, if you have to, ex so you can say the War Guilt Clause, it means that Germany had to take all responsibility for it, and it is Article 231. That would be an acceptable answer for that. If for disarmament, you could say, 
Uh, Germany had to disarm because they were worried about the fact that if Germany had too strong of an army or too strong of a military, then they would start another war. And for example, it reduced its army to 100,000 men. That again is a perfect answer. So feel free to memorize these answers if you'd like. For reparations, Germany had to pay for the war damage in the amount of $6.6 .6 billion. Again, that would be a perfect answer. Germany lost 13% of its territory. Many of the areas given to France, including Alsace-Lorraine. That actually couldn't, that's enough. So explain, then give me an example. And finally, the League of Nations was set up. It's a peacekeeping force and Germany was not allowed to join. Okay, so any one of those lines that will give you five lines Memorize them and you are good to go as far as the first question. So I've just given you the answer to the first question. I expect everyone to get four to four points out of it. Okay, the second question becomes more complicated and this would be Germany's reaction. So how did Germany react to the Treaty of Versailles? You have to take all of this information and I want you to write me one paragraph. Okay, and we'll explain paragraph writing in just a second again. Then, then the other question I'm going to ask is, how did the Treaty of Versailles impact Germany? Then you take all of this information right here and write me a paragraph. Okay, so let me repeat. You will write one paragraph about Germany reaction and one paragraph about the impact of the Treaty of Versailles. Now remember when you write a paragraph, you use point, explain, example, or point, example, explain. So I'm going to just go ahead and start a doc right here. Point, example, explain, P. Point, example, explain. Now, Please keep in mind that when I had you guys write your World War I summaries of your videos, that is exactly what you did without me explaining anything. You make an overall statement, you give me an example, a concrete fact, and then you explain what you mean. Now when you give examples, you should give two or three examples. And when you explain, it should be two or three sentences. Okay. Again, like I've just said, it is exactly what you guys have naturally done for me. So do not worry. Go ahead and try it. Anyway, so you've got your point, two to three facts, two to three sentences. So that overall gives you five sentences. Uh, five to seven. If you do two facts and two explanations, that gives you five. If you do three facts, three explanations, that gives you seven. So a point is a sentence, then you explain. Okay, so I have, I'm positive you guys can do it. You guys are one of the best paragraph writers I have ever seen. I am happy of tomorrow on Wednesday. If you have any questions or you're worried, feel free to contact me. I am happy to go over it with you, give you some examples, but I know that you guys know how to do it. You guys have been doing it lovely for me. I'm very pleased with you guys. Okay, so now the last thing you need to know is could the treaties be justified at the time? Were they fair? So this is the new video that I have. And basically you're going to write me one paragraph saying, no, it was too harsh. And you're going to, you can basically use this information as a springboard, but you must give me examples. Okay. So these are basically when you're writing your paragraph, these are all points you can use. Pick one of those points, get, give me examples from the terms and then explain your opinion. Remember the explanation is your opinion. So let me repeat that. You may pick one of these topics, go over here and pick some of these facts 
Okay, pick some of these facts and then you use your own explanation. And that is how you get your point, your example, and then your explain. Okay, then you will do it again with it wasn't too harsh. Okay, pick one of these points. Okay, this is always a good one. Like I said in my video, if you watch the video, that's a very good point. One of the strongest ones to say it wasn't too harsh. Give me a point. Come over here. Give me some examples. And then give me your explanation, your opinion. Okay, so that is the test. You'll have one. The first question will be just listing the terms and explaining like I showed you and told you about in the beginning or in the middle of this video. Then one question that you will have to explain the reaction and explain the impact. And then another question, one that you'll write a paragraph saying it's too harsh and one that's saying it's not too harsh. Okay, you'll have 45 minutes to do it. So we'll need to be in class on time, ready to write exactly at 10 o'clock. If you have any questions, again, please do not hesitate at any time to answer questions. I don't answer after probably 9 p.m., but the answer will be ready, waiting for you when you get up in the morning because I will answer you around 5 a.m., 6 a.m. Okay, have a lovely day. Good luck.